I think it was Mike Tyson had a quote, everyone has a game plan when they step into the ring until they get hit in the face. When we first came in here, it was nothing but studs and electrical wires. This is where I study, this is where I read, and this is where I work out. One day, I may take a, uh, say one of those, just the barbell like that, do eight sets of eight different exercises for eight reps. And, and at first it seems like, hey, this is no big deal. I could do this all day. Then the second time you go through it after waiting a minute, it's a little harder. Then the third time you wanna throw up, and then the fourth time you do throw up. Just so you know, I'm gonna ramble. Hello, Destiny. I've been expecting your call. I had the opportunity to study with the best Christian philosophers in the world. I got my master's at Yale with Nicholas Wolterstorff and my PhD at Notre Dame with Alvin Plantinga and Peter Van Inwagen. I was a Christian then, but just tons and tons of questions and doubts. So I got into philosophy that way and thought, you know what? There's no reason that this stuff shouldn't be made available to more people. I wrote Shot of Faith to the Head for a number of reasons. One was after you know going through studying philosophy with some of the best Christian philosophers, uh, probably the best Christian philosophers out there. They have done wonders as far as developing tools to strengthen your faith, to defend your faith. So after going through that, you know, we need to, we need to distill that material and give it to the average person. So that that's what I wanted to do, is I wanted to give, put the most high yield answers in one book. So a big part of writing this book is just to basically call the call the atheist's bluff, you know, to show that the hand they're holding isn't anything like they're pretending it is. They've got swagger, but they don't they don't have game. It's the good news that they need to hear, but it's really going to be the Holy Spirit that changes their hearts. When God through the gospel renews us, he's not just renewing our hearts, he's also renewing our intellect as well. I think every Christian needs to understand why they believe what they believe, the way they believe it. The Shot of Faith to the Head is a training manual in self-defense, and as in any self-defense training, it gives you confidence. <laughs>